This is my CFL induction system. What it does is it makes use of the emissions of 60 Hz from a compact fluorescent light and this system turns it into a wireless electric output to run small circuits. In this case we've got this LED running, it's actually a constant light there. But you can see that no wires between and I'm using a CD to collect the energy. Now things get very interesting uh, when I connect to a ground, a virtual ground in this case this is a an old heat sink from a hi-fi or a, a car hi-fi something like that big block anyway of aluminium and see normally if I move this away it will stay on till it flashes and goes out so it's not running now but if I connect up to the heat sink there we are on comes the light again and it's actually a solid light it's the frame rate of the camera that's messing things about and now I can move it a heck of a lot further away and it's still on. You can see the distance now that I've got between it and the light. You can get about a foot range out of this depending on what is connected to the top for the collection of the energy and what kind of circuit I'm using. So what I'm going to do now is swap over to this over here which is got a bigger ball on the top there covered in aluminium foil and it's got a watch circuit at the bottom. So here is the watch version and you can see at the moment it's not running until I connect up you can actually connect to either side the uh, plus or the minus to the heatsink and there we are there's the time 428 it's actually very interesting that the watch itself will run from quite the distance away without the screen actually being on um, so there's some collection all the time no matter where the thing is placed on the table so there we are that's running now I can move this a bit further away, say to there. So now we've got that distance between the two. And I can actually place this other one in between. And it looks like it's going to block it. But no, if that light's on, and the watch is still on. And I can show that the thing isn't, uh, let's see now, if I move this further away, say over there somewhere, and you'll see, there we are, the screen has faded out. Bring it closer. Say to there. And the screen has come back on. So there we are. And here is the circuit diagram for it. It was inspired by Inventor 3. You kindly dropped by my channel a few days ago and I thought to look at his, uh, his circuits again. And of course, Nikola Tesla with his Colorado Springs kind of experiments where I got the, uh, the, the original ball shape from and the tall column. So it's a very similar circuit to Inventor 3 circuit but I don't have a connection across here and it seems to work better especially when grounded. So there we are, there's the two of them running and that is my CFL induction system. Okay, thanks for watching.